Okay, here I'm going to graph the function cotangent of 2x, and also we'll pick out any vertical as asymptotes and zeros. So this still has the same basic, basic resemblance to cotangent of x. The only thing that's going to change here is going to be the period. So in this case, the period, we'll take pi and divide it by the absolute value of b, which is 2. That'll give us pi over 2. Cotangent has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So to get to the next vertical asymptote, we'll go over here to x equals pi over 2. And likewise, if we want to do maybe a couple, um, two periods, we can put an asymptote there as well at x equals negative pi over 2. And now cotangent, if we take the point in between the asymptotes, so this would be pi over 4, it still has that same basic shape uh, as cotangent. So it'll increase as we get close to the y-axis, and then it'll start decreasing down to uh, negative infinity as we approach pi over 2. Likewise, this is the point negative pi over 4. It's going to increase and then decrease. So... Um, I say increasing as we move to the left. The graph is definitely decreasing everywhere, so just to uh, hopefully clear up any confusion there. So um, that's all there is to it. It's just the graph of cotangent. The only thing that has changed is the period. So the zeros, the zeros, the first positive zero is at pi over 4, and then we said the period is pi over 2, so we'll move over multiples of pi over 2 to get the zeros. And the vertical asymptotes, those occur at multiples of pi over 2. So we can write that as pi over 2 times n. Again, where n is an integer.